Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, today I want to show you some uh, stamps from Sakura Lala. They are designed by Igloo Dining and they are new for uh, New Year's uh, and they are really, 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 really cute. Um, there's two sets of them. This one, it's called Ito. That means uh, these are the Japanese animals for the horoscope. Chinese also. Uh, in Japan, China, Taiwan, and maybe other countries in Asia, I don't know. We we have an, one animal for a whole year in the horoscope. Like in Western, we have for uh, one month, uh, one sign of the zodiac. But in Asia or some countries in Asia, it's for one year. So there are 12 animals. And they start with the mouse here. I don't know the correct order, but uh, the, all the animals are the mouse, the rabbit, the dog, the sheep, the cow, the monkey, the rooster, the dragon, snake, horse, tiger. And this year, 2019, is the year of the wild pig. It's, we call it Inoshishi. Next year is the year of the mouse. That means with this set, you can make uh, new year cards for every year <laughs> because we have only animals. In Japan, we have a, a tradition of sending new year cards instead of Christmas cards. We, we send that and usually the animal of the year is present in that design. Uh, this is like a Shinto good luck uh, item. We put this as a decoration. This is one of the decorations we use in New Year's in Japan. This is made of uh, dry... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like a herb. It's probably rice, dry rice uh, plant. And then they arrange in a beautiful way and with some flowers. They usually are not natural, these flowers here. And we hang these on the doors of the houses or some places. I don't know. There's so many uh, nice decorations for New Year. And then we have here the animals with some <laughs> accessories for some of the animals. For example, the rooster has a little chicken. Or this is milk uh, for the cow. And there's wool for the sheep. Um, the rabbit can have this carrot or even the horse can have it there's some uh, plum blossoms here because the plum is the first flower that uh, the uh, three flowers sorry that uh, blooms in the year because it blooms in February so it's a sign of good luck and good things coming and uh, new beginnings so Japanese people they love to use uh, ume plum blossoms for decorations in uh, new year also as a symbol of good luck and good things and then here it says akemashite omereto gozaimasu it means happy new year in Japanese <laughs> yeah it's really 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 beautiful set and then there's this one here. Uh, this one is Oshogatsu, that means New Year in Japanese. These are the typical items uh, we have for New Year. So this one can be combined with this to make cars or just by itself because some people doesn't like to use the, the animals because ev every year is uh, changing the animal. But if you did that like two, three, four times, it becomes boring maybe. So they uh, they want to do different things for the New Year card. But anyway, this is super cool for diary too, uh, both, but especially this one. Uh, we have here a kotatsu. It's a table that has a heater underneath and it has like kind of like a blanket. And then 
it's so cool to be there. It's so warm, but then you don't want to wake, uh, 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 get up. And this is really bad because you don't do anything. Just stay there watching TV and eating oranges, like uh, mandarin oranges, because usually in Japan, in winter, we place them on the, on top of the tables. So it's it's kind of cool. I really like that. Then we have here, this is a like a lion dance or dragon dance depending of the area they call it different is this is a tradition coming from china and it's like a good luck uh thing they do for new years this is uh there's mochi inside mochi is uh how to call it it's like a special type of glutinous rice they made uh, like a paste with that and in this case, it's dry, so it, it gets longer. And this is called, uh, this is called it. Oh my goodness, I forgot the name. I can't believe. I forgot the name. It's a decoration we use for New Year's. It's kind of like a, for the God of the New Year's. And then we eat this much in a specific day. And there's like an orange, like a mandarin orange on top of that. Actually, it's a different type of citric, but... Uh, we don't have that citric outside Japan, so this is why we, we translate as a mandarin. This is a kadomatsu. This is made of bamboo and pines, and this is supposed to mark for the god of the new year, to mark the way to know that uh, he has to visit the house, <laughs> so he doesn't forget. <laughs> kind of like the cookies for Santa Claus. <laughs> And this is typical food for New Year. It's osechi ryori. It's a type of specific food, specific ingredients. And some people hate it. Some people love it. Uh, some people just like some of the food for New Year. So, yeah, but this is really pretty and looks very yummy. That is for sure. <laughs> This also we eat ozoni is a special soup for uh, New Year that has mochi inside and it's really delicious. I really really love this. So this is ozoni. These are the foods for New Year. Uh, also this arrow that doesn't have uh, the arrow sticky the the. the prick part i don't know how to call this uh this is a symbol for good luck also on new year and we have this is a hagaita ha hagoita oh, ha 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 oh my goodness i'm forgetting the names this is really terrible i'm gonna check later sorry and this is like a new year's game we played with a ball and then it's kind of like a you can call it kind of ping pong or badminton, but we don't use a table. We just, it's kind of like tennis with this. This is made of wood. So it's really, really cool to play that. It's just tradition. And then there's, this is a, we call it, uh, how to say, it's cometa in Spanish. I don't know how to call that in English now. We 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 fly this. It's, it's, oh my God. Oh. What a disaster. I'm so sorry. My brain doesn't work. It's my fourth, uh, third day working at <laughs> Bukuyoshi. I'm very tired, very happy, very excited. So we fly this. It has a string. And then you fly this on the wing. It's a, it's a toy. And then this is Fukubukuro. Like in New Year's, we have uh, a kind of like funny sales. It's like a surprise bag that has... A lot more value than what you pay for it, uh, but you don't know what is inside. So there's categories like clothes, cosmetics, food. For example, uh, we buy every year one that is in a tea shop, so we know already that there's tea inside. But it's really, really funny to buy these things. Uh, this is a girl in kimono. Some people like to use kimono to do the first visit of the shrine or the temple in New Year's. And it's called Hatsumode. And these are Sakura petals for the kimono. It's really beautiful. And I, this is decoration for the kometa. Sorry, I can't say her. Kite. It's a kite. Oh, my brain is working. It's a kite. So this is to paint the kite with a different color. And the obi is here. The, the belt 
for the kimono it's here to use a different color for stamping then we have another ume another plum blossom here uh this is oh my goodness how to explain that okay there's seven lucky gods in japan and one of them has this is like a hammer, special hammer, that they say you can ask any wish and using this hammer it will become true. So it's a symbol of good luck for New Year. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Competo. This is like a kind of uh, candy. We eat all the year round, but is this Competo? Sorry, I can see. I think it's... Oh my god, looks like competo, but this is actually to make some <laughs> some red uh, hoppe. Is uh, I, I, I can speak Japanese and I cannot speak English anymore. Oh my god, uh, it's just to add a little bit of red cheeks here. And I was thinking it's competo, I think you can use as competo also. And then this round thing is for the mandarin on top of the. What the name is not Kamuchi? Oh my goodness. Can't remember. Okay, and then this one, two, three, th four things. One, oh no, sorry, I'm making a mistake. This three, one, two, three items, they go together. This represents leaves of bamboo. This represents leaves of pine. And this is the plum blossom. These three items. They represent good luck in Japan. I think highest category is the plum blossom. Then comes the pine and then the bamboo. It's like one, two, three in order of good luck. And then this is a, like a very uh, typical Japanese pattern. Uh, we can stamp this several times and then you get this super beautiful pattern here. This is also typical traditional Japanese pattern that is made in two so when you stamp on the other side you can use different colors can you see this is so cool you can even do this really really beautiful way to use that thing this is also a japanese pattern thing it represents clouds and yeah you can use together with this this is super super traditional japanese uh clothing or embroidery for kimonos for bags for handkerchiefs is really really beautiful and then i'm okay this is like a, oops sorry uh this is more decorations this is chopsticks that we use in new years it has a symbol that is kind of like a congratulations or kind of like good thing and I, I think I'm not forgetting anything right yeah we have here is the leaf for the mandarin yeah I think so so uh, after the explanation that is very long <laughs> uh, let's do a card so let's uh, the other day I had a very funny experience my friend I had to meet her and then my friend sent me a message and she said, Esther, I have an emergency. Can we meet at Itoya? And I said, yes, what happened? And she said, Itoya is a stationery shop in Japan. And she said, oh, because uh, my friend who always makes the design of my uh, New Year card, she cannot make it this year and I need your help. So we end up buying stamps and making the cards in Starbucks. We had so much fun. It was the first time in her life that she stamped it because she's she likes stationery but just to see she doesn't really uh, use stamps or or washi tape or anything like that so it was a very fun experience i will put a photo later of that that was hilarious and then i'm gonna make uh, several types of uh, examples for new year card but i don't want to take so long time and i'm gonna try to do something quickly and easy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the clear stamp, uh, the acrylic block, and then we can start. 
Oh, I have some stamps uh, blocking the. Okay, so uh, maybe this is too small. Should I get a big one? Okay. Uh, maybe you should get a big one, right? Well, let's let's use this one first. So what I want to do is I'm going to use the mouse because next year is the year of the mouse and this is to put the mouse inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on a sorry I had borrowed some uh, stamp things to a friend so I don't have the biggest acrylic block I don't have it but in an emergency case, you can do something like that. If you have a lid that is plastic, you can use it. But it doesn't, uh, the adherence to the plastic is not as good as the acrylic. So I don't recommend to do that as this is just for emergency. And I'm going to use just black ink because today we are going to color the... Oh, but if... Uh, okay, sorry. We are going to use brown and then we are going to color inside. Brown looks a little bit softer than, than black. For me, the, the picture will look a little bit more uh, gentle. So... We are going to use this one. And I really, really, really like uh, acrylic stamps. I know some people doesn't like them or never use them, or they think it's it's <laughs> too much work to put these on somewhere and stamp. But they are so easy to storage, and also because they are clear, there are so many fun things you can do with them that you cannot do with normal stamps. So this is why I love them so much. So first, I'm going to stamp this here. I'm going to put it a little bit like that. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I recommend to uh, acrylic stamps to clean them with baby wipes non-alcohol of course uh, you can use uh, the f oh, oh, like the silicone foam uh, it's like a, it's like the same thing we use to clean the cars that kind of uh, rubber <laughs> thing but I, I recommend to use this because if you go too heavy on them, maybe the rubber can be damaged. It absolutely never happened to me, but I, I hear some person told me that happened to her. So I'm kind of like, okay, if you are a heavy user, maybe it's better to, to stick to baby wipes. But honestly, I'm a heavy user and never I never had any kind of accident but anyway just a recommendation so we are going to stab the mouse inside they are really really cute like uh, I glue dining is the person who makes the designs for this and they are very sweet and happy I really love her illustrations they are very very simple I really like them I really like them so I'm going to place the mouse, like, jumping <laughs> inside. That's really adorable. I love it. And then, I want to keep this very, very simple. So, I'm going to use the... Happy Master of the Happy New Year. 
there's actually other sets of stamps that they have Happy New Year. So in English, if you want to write, Japanese people love to use English for these cards too. But in this case, I'm just going to stick to Japanese. Oh, if I'm going to make a mistake. Okay, we're still over with, so I'm going to place it together like kind of, it's going to take very small space. Okay, we're still going to go like this, okay, like this, it's very compact. This maybe I can use another color. Uh, I'm going to stick with brown, because I'm going to use color, ah! Okay, I want to use the this thing here, so yeah, I'm gonna place this. And we need some blank space because we write a message to each person that we sent the cards. So, and also some Japanese people, they like to add their address in the front. Some people like to add the address on the back, but we need to leave some white space to be able to write the message that's very important. Even if you don't send these cards to Japanese friends, <laughs> it's cool to have that in your techo <laughs> to write the Happy New Year in Japanese. I really like it. And I wanted the ume, the plum blossoms. By the way, I was born in the year of the ship. If you want to know which uh, J uh, Japanese or Chinese or Asian horoscope you belong, uh, you can check. There's internet like they do the translation of the year you were born to the horoscope. So you can check. And it's, it's really cool. It's kind of... Fun. My husband and I, we both belong to the same year, so we are both ships. <laughs> okay, that's really pretty. And I'm going to keep it as simple as this. Uh, I will do a different design later, but this is space is to write a message to a friend or something. Just want to to show how to use these stamps because they are extremely pretty and I think some people really doesn't doesn't use so much so I'm gonna use mid liners uh, to color this so first thing I'm gonna color is oh I have some mid liners in the other room I have been using them Okay, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna uh, make the mouse in gray, but I wanna keep some pink on the ears, and I wanna keep some pink on the cheeks. So let's see. Um, this Versa Fine Clear from Tsukideko, this ink it's supposed to be waterproof so we are safe to go with markers over but I'm a little bit suspicious so I don't want to do right away usually I wait a little bit until the ink is completely dry because even, even if it's waterproof, if the ink is not dry, you're gonna have a big disaster there so so I'm going to paint the cheek here and the ears a little bit. Okay. Then uh, this ume thing, I'm going to paint it. And uh, this is Tsubaki. This is, uh, I don't know how, what's the name? In, I don't know the name in the Japanese, sorry. So I'm going to stick to do everything with mid liners so the colors mm, might be a little bit too pastel or something so it's gonna be 
very fun. You can use any marker you like. Copics are amazing, but Copics, unless you are using special Copic paper, <laughs> it bleeds a lot. And in the case of this card, we need to read the other side because we need to send this. And I don't think this normal card paper will, will take Copics. Copics are crazy bleeding creatures. <laughs> I love them so much, but man. Okay, so we have the leaves already. And I don't want to color absolutely everything, but I'm going to color the ube, that is the plant blossom. They are usually red. And I'm going to explain what they are, these tiny circles, not in the flower, I, I mean the other things. It's actually mochi. In the old times in Japan, it was a decoration on New Year's, white and pink. They made with mochi, and it means like new beginnings and good luck. So I'm going to paint some of them pink, and it wasn't really like fluorescent pink, and some of them white. My friend was grow up was growing up in a temple. Uh, her father was the priest of the temple, so she had to make every new year. She had to prepare this mochi to make these round things. So it's interesting when she explained that to me. Uh, because this is uh, rice, we are going to paint that in yellow. I say I didn't want to paint everything, and I think I'm ending. Yeah, but it's, it's so beautiful. When you add color, kind of like everything for pops. These are the dry rice. So it's the rice plant with the rice here. It's really beautiful. Like when I put on, on my decorations for New Year, I will take a photo and I will show you. Now I wish to have Copics. <laughs> I'm really in love with some uh, markers. I showed the other day in a, in a video. They are brush type, but they are 300 yen each. That means around $3 each. So I have just a few of them. I think I have five or six colors. I'm collecting them little by little. Someday I would like to do the investing and get like 24 colors or something like that. But I'm using them a little bit later. Actually, I, I should be using watercolors for that because it's faster and I don't have any limitation of color. I have any color I want because you can mix. But I'll be honest, I wanted to show how to use uh, markers because... Sometimes people uh, get overwhelmed when they have to use watercolor. So yeah, I understand. I wanted to do like a use a media that's easy for everyone. Okay, and then uh, we have two flower, uh, three more flowers here. I'm gonna leave this flower white, and then I need to paint. And this is a kiku. So this is chrysanthemums. Usually they are yellow, but I don't want to use the same yellow. So I'm gonna use. I should use. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Knocking this. I'm gonna use just regular. Uh, these are the pure color something. My friend gave them to me because she doesn't, she didn't need them anymore. These are just regular markers. I had a box with so many markers, like, I don't know, 54 colors or something like that. But they were very bad quality. I, I bought them very cheap somewhere in Spain many years ago. So when I wanted to use them again, <laughs> they were all of them dry. It was a big disaster. And then I'm going to paint the Tsubaki in pink. Sorry, I said I didn't want to paint everything, but finally... I paint all. Oh, I think it looks very pretty. And pop 
pops up everything and you can see the difference in the flower or something so yeah I love it okay so let's leave it like that and these are ube so I'm gonna use the same red here Plum blossoms are really beautiful. In the old times in Japan, they were even more popular than sakura, than the cherry tree blossoms. But with the pass of the years, uh, what happened is like one of the sh uh, one of the shoguns, like one of the samurais, they decide to plant uh, lots of sakura in, in somewhere in Tokyo. So then sakura became more famous than plum blossoms both are beautiful but sakura looks very fragile plum blossoms they they look more strong and they uh, last longer so they represent different things but i i, I don't know i love both okay so i'm just gonna leave it like that and we have a very beautiful Oshogatsu card. It's already 30 minutes video, so I'm going to make a new video for the other ones. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.